Hello and welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can relight your interior design in Enscape. Let's get to work. In these type of closed projects like the uh, kitchen design, sometimes it's really hard to expose or relight your screen very simple and easy. So you need many type of IES profiles or artificial light brightnesses. So I'm going to show you how you can use it very simple like the professional rendering means. So I'm going to close the uh, Camtasia in here as the uh, recorder. So I'm going to click on the uh, photos and we want to reach to this type of render. But when I click on the Enscape, you can see some type of dark area, completely black. And if I change the time of the day near to the morning, you can see the main result, something like this. So. The main camera shot on the uh, night mode and it's completely dark so I'm going to show you how we can relight it. I'm going to close it in here, this photo is not really necessary and I'm going to click on the Ctrl S. So I'm going to start my job with these halogen textures. I'm going to click on the uh, paint bucket in SketchUp, pick it up, click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor, roof line light in here. And change the type of it from generic to the self illuminate. In the albedo, I will click on the color, advance, and select this code in here, Ctrl C. And in the color, I will type Ctrl V and press enter. Now I have same colors in the uh, self illumination light. I will reduce the uh, intensity of it to the uh, 4600 candela per meter. And I will go to under this cabinet, pick another color, pick it up, click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor again, Lamp Hidden. So I will click on it, change it to the Self Illuminate, and reduce it to the uh, 3300 candela per meter. I will take same action for the uh, color, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and press Enter. And everything is done. So now I'm going to click on the C1 scene in here, Ctrl S, and I will click on the uh, Enscape object in here. So I need multi type of spotlights. So I'm going to click on the spotlight in here and draw my first spotlight in this direction. Very simple and easy. So the main spotlight related to the Enscape. Most of the time work not really well, so you need to click on the load IS profile to add some type of clean IS lights. So I prefer to use number 16 as my main IS profile and click on the open and increase the uh, intensity power to the uh, 60 and close it. I will click on the sample paint, pick this texture up and add it to my light. So my light color is this type of creamy color in here. I will click on it, move it to the uh, center point of this halogen. And now time for taking multiple copies. So I'm going to click on the move in the SketchUp, press Ctrl on my keyboard and take some copies in some direction about 47. So I will select both of them and take multiple copies to the right side in some direction about 50 centimeter and I need to repeat it for the four times and now my copy is complete so I need another copy at the left side in here center of my object like that click on it and move it to this place and now select both of them and repeat the uh, action in this part of my job. Very simple for the four times. Now the backlight and support light is done for us. Now I will click on one of them in here and take another copy to the uh, main point of my kitchen, the center point. So I take this copy, but I want to create some changes between these lights and these lights in here. So I can click on this one. So you know that lights in SketchUp or Enscape is the component. 
So you can right click and convert it to the unique component. So I'm going to click on the make unique. And now it's completely have some different type of properties and information for itself. So move option and take some multiple copies about four times and repeat these action for the left side like that. And finally, I need these two lights for the uh, these two halogens. So I will take this copy process to this place and it's over. So I will select one of them, click on the Enscape object and increase the aluminum's power to the 260 candela. So another light I need for the uh, underside of the uh, cabinet. So I will select this one for example this is spotlight click on the move option and take another copy to this part of my job but the story is completely different in this part of our project so i'm going to select it and skip object in here and this time i will click on the load is profile and select another is like number five but the point is that before i do this action I need to right click and convert it to the make unique. Now I can change it very simple and easy to the IS number five and click on the open and it will convert to the IS number five in here. And you need to reduce the intensity to the 88 candela. So I think everything is good. I'm going to click on the move option, take some copy in this distance like 54 for the uh, two times another copy process for these part of my halogens lighting always take a time so don't worry about spending time because it's really important in your final result and your render so be patient 3x and click on the move again move it to this part and take another copy to this part and three times again. So C1 selected for me, Control S, and now time for showing what is the result in Enscape. So I'm gonna click on the start Enscape in here. It will take a little bit time and after that, your interior kitchen design will convert it to some type of super realistic render. So something like that the result is really wonderful i'm gonna turn on the uh, safe frame this is the main job that we have in here and now i'm going to minimize the enscape and sketchup select these roof lights enscape object you can increase the power to the 300 candela and for the uh, under cabinet lights you can increase the luminous intensity and you can see the changes in front of your camera very simple and easy. I think 400 candela is enough or you can use some type of medium luminance 250 or I think 100 is enough. So it's about 144 and now it's much better. So I can select these support lights and increase the intensity to see what really happened and you can see it's really good. So it works very well and exactly and everything is done so this is the render that you created in enscape very simple and easy only with a few tips and works so i'm going to click on the uh, enscape material editor roof light line light and i can increase the uh intensity power to the uh, 6400 candela and it's really good so I'm going to press F, C1 selected for me, and now you can render this job very simple and easy. Before you render your final shot, you can click on the uh, visual setting and increase the exposure to the 56. And in the image bar, you can control your color temperature. But most of the time, it's not really important because all the settings are matched with each other and we have this realistic render 
and this is the final result. I'm going to click on the render and it will render for me. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and goodbye.